In this example, we'll show how a Punnett square box looks if there is a recessive trait that receives a percentage in our probability outcome. Remember, the female alleles go on the side and male alleles go on the top. In this scenario, our female alleles are going to be homozygous recessive. If we look at our board, recessive means lowercase. And I'm also going to add the definition for homozygous and heterozygous. Homozygous means that the alleles are identical. And heterozygous means that the alleles are different. So if the female's alleles are homozygous recessive, if homo means identical, that means that the alleles have to be the same. If they are both recessive, that means that they are both lowercase, which means for the female, we are going to put two lowercase f's. The male, or the father, is going to be heterozygous for freckles, which means that he is going to have two different alleles. So we're going to do a capital F and a lowercase f. The next step of our Punnett square is to drag and drop the alleles. Next, we're going to do our probability outcome for heredity. In this box, I have at least one dominant allele, so I'm going to add 25% to my dominant trait. And before I do that, I'm going to write this in each box. Therefore, that trait belongs to the recessive trait. In box three, I have at least one dominant allele. So that means that this Punnett square box goes to my dominant trait. And in box four, I have no dominant or uppercase allele, which means that this Punnett square box goes to my recessive trait. If I add my totals, my outcome is 50% for freckles, 50% for no freckles. This is a great example to also explain how our alleles have to be written in our Punnett square box. In math, if you had a problem like this, you would always write your variable after your coefficient. It's the same concept. You never want to write an allele in your Punnett square with the recessive allele before. It's equivalent to doing this. The same way this is incorrect, is the same way that this is written incorrectly. So, the probability would not change, but what a geneticist and what we recommend middle school, high school students to do is to complete the Punnett square first, erase 
the box, if the recessive allele comes before, and just change it. So the probability outcome has not changed. Our answer has not changed, but now we have properly written out our Punnett square box. 